Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam. Welcome back to yet another iOS 13 update. I have never seen this many leaks for an iOS version ever. And uh, you know, it has to slow down eventually as far as the good news goes. We do have some insanely exciting things to talk about today. Two of perhaps of the most exciting rumors we have heard for iOS 13 yet. We also have to talk about what devices are said to be supporting iOS 13, and honestly, it's pretty disappointing there. So if you guys are looking forward to this video, drop a like down below, it seriously helps me out, and hit subscribe. Let's go ahead and start off with the device support list. So today, according to iPhone Soft, a source at Apple directly has told them that certain devices aren't going to be supporting iOS 13, and they are some surprising ones. Uh, these are all the ones that are going to support iOS 13, that is iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 10s, and iPhone 10s Max, alongside, of course, the 2019 iPhone 10R and iPhone 11 models when those are released in September. Uh, those are all good. You're getting iOS 13. Devices that aren't, this one blows my mind. iPhone SE was just released in 2016, and less than three years later, it is not going to be getting support for iOS 13. 13, uh, which is really disappointing. Not surprising here, iPhone 5S is not going to be supporting iOS 13, but that makes sense because Apple generally cuts off like the very last device for the previous version each year. So iPhone 5S was the oldest device to support iOS 12 with iOS 13. That is not going to be the case. And then the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus also not getting support for iOS 13. So let me know if this affects you guys in any way. Are you still on this device? Or maybe my perception is skewed. Are a lot of you on the newest iPhones out there? Let's jump to iPads. iPad wise, you've got iPad mini 3, iPad mini 4, iPad 6, iPad 5, iPad Air 3, iPad Air 2, iPad Pros across the board since the iPad Pros have come out in 9.7, 10.5, 12.9, and even 11 inches. Now, for the devices that do not support iOS 13, again, according to this source, this could be inaccurate information, although I kind of doubt it, we've heard this twice now, the iPad Air and the iPad Mini 2 will not support iOS 13. They, I guess, just don't have the horsepower needed to run this operating system, which actually leads us directly into the next thing that uh, iPhone Soft also shared in this article that is actually like nuts news. Meaning, it sounds too good to be true, but also comparing to what Apple did last year, it could very much be true. According to iPhone Soft, the same source that tells them these are the devices supporting and not supporting iOS 13, on some devices running iOS 13, they could see a 40% speed improvement. That is out of this world, and we had heard from Bloomberg just recently, like, this is why I believe this report. This lines up exactly with what Bloomberg had just reported. Bloomberg obviously having an insanely good track record, rarely, if ever, getting things wrong. They said iOS 13 would see speed improvements. Now we've got a concrete number for that, 40% faster on some devices. This quells all my fears of iOS 13, you know, being that big update like iOS 7, but you know, iOS 7, it slowed down everybody's devices. This is not sounding like the case here with iOS 13. I mean, even a five or 10% speed improvement, I would argue could be noticeable in some cases, like the keyboard popping up or going to the camera or opening, loading complex applications. We're hearing 40%, probably on some older devices, like the iPhone 6S or the iPhone 7. And honestly, guys, that could be the trade-off here. To make iOS 13 the best for most devices, Apple may have had to cut off support for good phones like the iPhone SE or even the iPhone 6 early. And I know it is disappointing. It's definitely something that I didn't want to hear, but I, I had to share it with you either way. I'm not going to lead you guys blindly into iOS 13 and have you blindsided when your device isn't supported. This is the latest news that we're hearing, and I had to share it with all of you per usual. One other leak recently that has been confirmed by three different sources now to be coming to iOS 13 is another like crazy out there one that I didn't think we would ever see, at least in my life. And that is mouse support on the iPad. Of course, According to uh, Federico Vitici, uh, he runs MacStories.net, is on a podcast called Connected. It does a lot of cool stuff with the Apple community. On this episode right here, he was the first one to share that he had heard that as an accessibility feature in iOS 13, um, you know, it's called accessibility. We know that like developers and hardcore iOS users are going to be the one checking that mouse box, but yeah, mouse support is coming. Apparently it is going to be USB, so you like plug a mouse in, but I, I would assume you could also just use... I don't know, a magic mouse like this right here with iOS 13. I can't imagine why you would be able to use USB but not Bluetooth. Either way, this is insane news that on the iPad, 
mouse support is coming. Wait, so Apple, you're telling me the iPad is actually going to be able to replace my computer because it's going to become a computer? Uh, I don't know. Apple's done this weird marketing with like not a computer, something totally different, better. And, and I feel like the lines between Mac OS and iOS, especially with iPad apps being able to be run on the Mac later this year, it, it's just merging together and they're getting more similar each and every single iteration of both iOS and Mac OS. So mouse support's really good. I will obviously have coverage on that the very second it drops because I can't wait Way to try that out myself. If you guys can't tell already, uh, the feature list just keeps growing for iOS 13. It's less than a month away now. iOS 13 will be in our hands in around 20 something days on this device right here. I'm going to I'm going to have iOS 13 soon. And so are you guys when it comes out on June 3rd in beta form for developers. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated all the way to the release date. Through the release date, we'll have insane videos the day it drops. Uh, in the meantime, that's the latest. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. I always appreciate that. And hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. That's all, guys. I've been Sam, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.